I'm stranded out here in the middle of the Kalahari Desert. Now when you're in a situation like this with the sun beating down on you, you have to take advantage of your surroundings to survive. The landscape of the Kalahari can be terribly disorientating, especially if you haven't had proper vitamins throughout the day. The sun is about to set, so we need to really make ground quickly now to find a high advantage point to look down to find out where we're going. When climbing to your lookout point, it's important to pace yourself. Conserving your energy is vital. This sandstone can be incredibly slippy. It's almost like shell. If you don't get a proper foothold on this, it's easy to... Ah! Mother That was an incredibly slippy climb, but now I'm at the top of the mountain, at the highest point of this valley, I can clearly see where I need to go. There is my destination. As you may know, survival in the Kalahari is critically dependent upon using things in the wilderness around you to your advantage. I've happened upon this bottle left by ancient natives more than five weeks ago. I will use this bottle to collect rainwater. As you can see, a storm is imminent. And when I collect this rainwater, I will fight off dehydration. I thought I heard an ice cream truck, so I waste no time finding the source. In ancient times, the Kalaharians would fashion knives out of sandstone. That's what I'm going to do right here to show you how they would have survived in this situation. Find a piece of sandstone, then use a knife and a rock to make a knife out of that sandstone. Unfortunately, there was no ice cream truck. In the Kalahari, it's imperative to choose the path of least resistance. One careless step and you could easily snap an ankle, making survival for the toughest nearly impossible. It's critical to know what time it is when you're out in the Kalahari. Sun sets rapidly and you could easily be caught in a deafening situation. I'll fashion a sundial to tell what time it is. I'll use my watch and this flat rock that I've discovered out here. First, you take the watch and put it on the rock. Then from the angles of the sun and the shadows from the watch, I can tell it's exactly 4.04 p.m. in the afternoon time. It's time to find shelter. It's been three weeks and there's been not a drop of rain in the Kalahari Desert. You can't do that. I'm gonna have to fashion me some kind of cellular signal booster and call for help. I never do this except in the most dire of situations, which would happen to me right now. I can use this twig to act as an antenna to boost my cellular signal. Finally, help is on the way. Hi, thanks for watching Rob vs. Wild. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel. Also, give us a thumbs up. Click here to learn how to get better cell phone signal. Click here to watch Rob do an impersonation of Billy Mays. Leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you want to see. We've got new content coming out. Thanks for watching.